Today I'm going to show you how to make a really fun gravity mage that uses all kind of meteor magic as well as the wing of Astel sword, which is such a good sword. Now the only issue I have with this sword personally is the length, because it doesn't have a long reach, it's not super big. Now it does have some ranged attack with the R2, that kind of makes up for it a bit, but it's kind of weird because if you think about it, the Astel bosses are freaking huge, so wouldn't their wings be like colossal weapons? In my opinion, that would make a lot more sense, but this is what we got, so we're going to work with it. And it doesn't really matter that it lacks in range, because we do have all those meteor spells that will make up for that. I've been wanting to do a gravity magic build for a long time now, and I always wanted to make it about the meteoric orb blade, but just don't like the Ash of War at all, and the fact that you can't change it is just really annoying. So I figured I would make this gravity mage instead, which not only is super powerful, it's also really fun to play because as usual, you have both of best worlds. You have up close capabilities as well as a long range. And with the Wing of Vastel Sword, the cool thing is the Ash of War acts like one of the boss's attacks where he puts these like stars down and then they all explode and it does a frick ton of damage. And it's really good for crowd control or uh, if you're surrounded by enemies. Though keep in mind, it does take a while to get out. Like if you get hit out of it, it's like just too bad. It just, your character won't poise through the action and the hit, so you have to put it down before the enemies rush you. And we're also going to be using the Meteor of Astel spell, which is insanely powerful. Like you can see me melting <laughs> the tree sentinel in like two seconds. He didn't even have time to hit me because he got poised broken because of the damage. Now the other ones, Gravity Well is really good because it pulls enemies to you, but it also staggers them a bit. Now the range is not super great like the range in the way that it pulls enemies to you i really wish it was more gravity like where they just get pulled up maybe into the air a bit kind of like lift from a mass effect series if you're familiar with that that would be really cool but there is so much you can do with this game so much you can add so hopefully we get a dlc soon but anyways enough rambling the build stats are pretty easy uh, it's just intellect and a dexterity. You need 17 dexterity to be able to use the wing of Astel. So for the rest of the points, you do whatever you want. I put 80 in intellect because that is the soft cap for sorceries. And you can see I have 45 in uh, vigor, 35 or 36 in mind. And then you want some endurance, of course, because uh, casting spells and of course fighting up close do take endurance. But that's pretty much the gist of the build. You want to use a prisoner for this because not only do they have intelligence, they also have a high dexterity so you won't have to spend a lot of points in those. Now for the staff itself, I know people might say why aren't you using the meteoric staff? Now I understand it might be good for the beginning of the game if you want to start this build early. However, you can't level it up so really you should choose any uh, staff that has the highest scaling while leveling it up. But I like the Regal Scepter because it uses somber smitting stones, which makes it really less annoying to level up. Uh, the Wing of Vastel also uses somber smitting stones, so you won't have to run around like a mad person trying to collect all these smitting stones just to level up your weapons. It has some pretty good damage scaling and an S in intellect scaling. Now, if you wanted to do more damage up close with the sword, you could definitely put more points in there but I'd rather have more points in intelligence because of the crazy amount of damage you can do with these sorceries. So you know the drill, now that I explained to you how the build works and showed you how it works, I'm going to show you where to get everything that you need to make it. Now fashion wise, there is a lot you can do in the game. There's a lot of mage outfits, uh, but specifically for this, I am using Celevis's outfits. So the preceptor set. Uh, except for the boots and the hands. For the hands, I'm using Lusat's machettes, uh, which you can get if you complete Sorceress Selen's questline. And I'm using the War Surgeon trousers just because I love the boots. But as I said, there's a lot you can do. You can use this one, or this one, or this one. It's really up to you. For the weapons, we'll be using the Wheel of Astel as well as the Carrion and Regal Scepter. Uh, the Carrion Regal Scepter is pretty easy to get. You need to defeat Renala and then you can use her Remembrance to buy the Scepter. Now for the Wing of Astel, you actually need to go down to the Ainsel River. And once you get to Yule Palace Runes, you'll be able to get on top of the runes where that Astel beast is shooting crap at you and it's in a chest right above there. 
The talismans are as follows. Graven Mass Talisman to be able to do more damage. Radagon Icon to shorten our spell casting time. Godfrey Icon to again increase our damage. And the Shard of Alexander to again increase our damage, but that is only specifically for the Ash of War on the Wing of Astle. You can get the Graven Mass Talisman in the secret area right here, in the Consecrated Snowfields, and you want to go in this tower. You have to solve the riddle, and you'll be able to get that talisman. For Radagon Icon, you can get it in the Academy. So you want to take the Parlor Side of Grace, where you defeat the Red Wolf Radagon. You go to the right, then go to the right again, you jump over a fence, go take a ladder up, and you'll be able to go through a window and the talisman will be in a chest in that room. For the Godfrey icon, you need to come to the Altus Plateau once you take the lift right here. You need to go into this Evergel, fight Godric, and he'll drop that talisman for you. Now for the Shard of Alexander, uh, it's definitely endgame because you need to come to Ferrum Azula right here and you need to complete Alexander's questline to the very end. There are two versions of this talisman, one is weaker, one is stronger. The weakest one you can get whenever you just fight him and he'll drop the talisman, but if you want to the strongest version, then you need to wait till the very end of his questline. And you'll have to meet him in this area right here. And there is a uh, lift, I think, in this area right here that you can take to get here. Now, for the sorceries, we'll be using Gravity Well, Collapsing Stars, Rock Sling, and a Meteorite of Astal. Now, for the Meteorite of Astal, uh, you need to fight him during Ronnie's questline, and you'll be able to buy this from his remembrance. For Gravity Well, there will be a lesser alabaster lord that you need to fight at the academy. Uh, basically, you'll see like a big cloud of gravity, and once you approach him, he'll appear. It's near the lift, you know, that you need to take to um, go fight Red Wolf Radagon, so you can't miss it. And once you fight him, he will drop you this spell. For Collapsing Stars, you will find it in the War Dead Catacombs, and it's very near uh, the Radon boss fight. For Roxling, you need to go in this underground cellar, it's north of the Street of Sages ruins, and it's surrounded by Servants of Rot in the Kaled area, so it's pretty easy to find. So that's it guys, you should have everything you need to make this build. I really hope you enjoy it, it was super fun to make, it's also super fun to play with. If you want more Elden Ring videos, there are plenty more on my channel. Uh, if you're looking- oh my gosh, dude. How dare you interrupt my intro. Outro, whatever. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> if you're looking for an Elden Ring Discord to join, the link to mine is in the description box of every video, so you're welcome to join if you want. Other than that, everyone, have yourself a very wonderful day, and I'll see you all very soon.